everybody doing? Um, yeah, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. All right. Give me a second here. I'm going to get the chat window set up. While we do that, we're going to listen to a little bit of Tundra Toddler, which I forgot to mention in the comments. But that is A-OK. Because we all know that I'll fix that later. Fix it in post. We'll do it live. Um, sorry. All right. Let's pop over here. Oh, dear. Just a second, folks. All right. All that's starting to load. I hope. Are you loading? There it goes. Uh, we're going to ink uh, James Work, a uh, freedom writer who, uh, with, alongside John Lewis, ended up in the hospital. So let's see how this is going to come out. <sighs> oh, I got so much to watch. Okay. I apologize that it punishers are in every picture. Um, I gotta get that fixed. Um, the program that I use uh, changed that, uh, made one of the features to allow you to post a photo. Um, this is news to me that I'm offline. Oh, there we go. Um, oh boy. Let's hopefully this will run better once I get out of here. Oh. All right. Let's hopefully this will work. Anyways, looking at the photos made me think about uh, how how the internet has kind of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, put a lot how a lot of uh amateur photographers out there. I don't know if they're actually fairly compensated for their work. Not like back in the uh, 60s when this picture was taken. The uh, photographer would have gone through some kind of uh, agency or something like that to have um, to rep them. And I always thought that there should be some kind of group of like citizen you know journalists that uh sorry that 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 you know report locally but then can have their their stories go national and have them compensated fairly for that like some kind of journalist um, what you call it? Um, like a cooperative kind of thing. Sorry, my tea hasn't quite kicked in, so my brain's not really functioning. Hello, tea. Oh, it's still hot. <laughs>
Alright. I'm hoping the stream's actually working for people. It is a rainy day, and rainy days around here means that uh, internet doesn't always work right. I mean, the worst thing is, is uh, like, I can have trouble streaming, but I can watch stuff on YouTube with no problems, typically. Zoning out here. You know what I meant to do before I started? So look up that uh, Katsuro Ultimo quote that I keep going back to whenever I'm cross hatching. And I keep making reference to it, so it'd be kind of good to know and to share it. But uh, to paraphrase it, for those of you who haven't heard me quote it before, he talked about how he um, feels that an artist must suffer for his work. And he was talking about this piece he did for the Akira graphic novel he was working on. He also directed the film. But um, he was working on, uh, he actually cross-hatched the entirety of this near-black uh, ball that's exploding out into Neo-Tokyo. And he's like, you know, as an artist, you must kind of, uh, you know, suffer and feel for your work. Which I do not disagree with at all. So he didn't do things like that. He would actually have cross-tatched that entire thing in. I am not he. I do appreciate the, the sentiment of, uh, you know, kind of feeling the viscaralness of, of what's happening while you're illustrating and... and Allowing that to, to kind of bring it in. Uh, a lot of times I cheat with music. If it wasn't an overcast and rainy day, I would have actually chosen some music that would have more complemented this. Excuse 
Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to have a little bit of tea. Results of terrorizing people the way they they are. And if you don't believe me on that, there are studies that back me up. Uh. So last night my daughter was watching me draw this and was asking me a bunch of questions. And it's really hard because like I try not to uh I don't wanna like, you know completely poison her opinion with mine. I was trying really hard not to uh you know, compare the uh the, 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 the racist to attack this uh Gentlemen and John Lewis, the two uh, Trump supporters. But I so wanted to. So I'm working, um, yeah, I finished this last night, and I've been wanting to ink this since last night, because I was just so pleased how this came out. Uh, especially after the disappointment of uh, yesterday morning's live stream. And I apologize for that one. Not my best moment, really. Let me grab some more tea here.
that next week is my daughter's birthday, and um, uh, she is on the autism spectrum, so we kind of have to spread out birthday stuff. And so we had, um, you know, everything gets to be too much for her, so I go back and get our money's worth out of it. I mean, we're spending 20 bucks for the two of us. I mean, not to have a good time and she doesn't get a lot out of it, and I appreciate that, but, uh, spending that much for entertainment, might as well get their money's worth from it. Especially since we really don't have much of an entertainment budget. stick to as much free stuff as possible, but, uh, keep the kids entertained. So yesterday and today was me kind of catching up on things, trying to get ahead on a couple of stuff so I can work on other things. Uh. Yeah, not using a ruler on the background lines. And this is one of those process things that I'm always babbling on about while I draw. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing that is because, you know, he's in such rough shape. I don't want the background, you know, I want that, that uh, imperfect line for the background. Even though I'm drawing architecture. The imperfect line in the background is going to create, you know, a little bit of the off-culturedness and that... that uh, uh, is going to keep this looking raw.
Look at that. Those imperfect lines are really working out, I think. Some of it too also creates a web. Ah, there it is. There we go. Uh, that looks like a fairly straight line, folks, right? Well, check this out. Let's compare it with a ruler. And you can see how imperfect that line is. That's the beauty of it. Creates a more naturalistic look. Weathered and worn. Just like, you know, this guy right here. Hey, son of a red shirt. Welcome. Everything is good, my friend. It's, you know, the, the perfectly straight lines. It's it's all um it's also all what you're trying to, to, to uh create. Um you know not every picture you gotta have like perfectly straight lines and not every picture you want to have those uneven lines. It all really depends on what you're doing. You know, especially if you're trying to create a good contrast. Like, I mean, Spider-Man such an organic character, for example. When you draw him with, you know, really crisp buildings like um, uh, Salvador La Rosa does. It really complements uh, the Spider-Man. They were trying to test out the uh, bus lines and make sure that they were integrated like the court case uh, declared them to be. This is a picture of James after he was beaten. Hi, Kurt. Welcome. Yes. Actually, I started uh, live streaming uh, my artwork because of Comic Tropes, so thank you for stopping by. Uh, son of a red shirt here and I and uh, he came him and others. Um, we're, we're all watching the uh, Comic Tropes uh, Inktober stuff, and we're just like, oh man, he's going to stop broadcasting. And I'm like, well, why don't I start broadcasting? So um, I started doing these uh, warm-ups.
And I make it a very important point not to uh, broadcast when uh, comments are in just a couple of panels. Grab some tea here. <laughs> 